Saturday of debating whether to go kayaking or bike riding. I decided on bike riding today because the winds are supposed to be a little bit less tomorrow. I mean, they're not bad. But, uh, so I'm going to head to the DNH Rail Trail, which is from this section of it, the northern and southern section. The northern section I've made a video on before goes from Castleton to Colby. There's a short section that's over at Vermont, which I'll do at some point. It's only two and a half miles, but this section is 10.8 uh, miles north of one way, and it's from West Paula. That's my home. West Paula to uh, West Rupert, Vermont. And it's an easy trail like the others. It's great, it's great and easy, but it's, I usually go for the distance rather than the degree of difficulty. So, that's where I'm headed now, from Fairhaven down to Palm Land, and we'll see what the trail looks like. It's not going to wait down below to so give information for the map, the location, and all that kind of stuff. So I've arrived in the quaint little town of West Palm. Check out this section of the DNA Trail Trail. Looks like that's where the trail starts or where I pick it up anyway over there. Looks like it goes that way too, so we'll check it out. Beautiful, varied terrain, shade, sun, water, bridges. Very nice and easy. about maybe a mile onto this trail. <coughs> Excuse me. And I will say that it, just the first mile already has as much beauty in some in some different ways as it would have, but wow, it's very, very fourth bridge I've crossed so far. I think there's eight, nine or ten in this section.
on an obstacle. I think we'll have to portage it like a ramp. We're good. All right. So, this is the end of this section of my trail. <coughs> I guess the New York section isn't finished yet. Beautiful forest. However, I expect to find the Tin Man any second. Red trees, like that one. Have faces and throw apples at me. I'm ready to get going. So the town before was Rupert. I'm sitting in the Rupert town, on the Rupert town green. Oops, jeez, that wasn't very smart. Beautiful. The trail's a little anticlimactic, I think, because it goes through here and then it goes, I'm gonna guess about two and a half or even three miles further down and just end. I went all that way and came back, so I guess I got a good start on the way back. I'm guessing it's about maybe seven miles from the original from West Pollock where I started, but absolutely beautiful, 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 beautiful trail. And easy overall, though. Interestingly, you notice how the grade goes up and down this, you know, what a masterful job they do building railroads because it's gradual. You don't notice it, but I notice it in like gear shifting. I'm in one area and I'm struggling in like a certain gear and then I'm, all of a sudden I'm in the highest gear and cruising. And interesting, but oh, I mean, it's not easy overall. It's, but it is, it's almost 11 miles to the end of that. So it makes it, it's gonna make it over you know, 23 miles, which is actually the most I've done this year. And I'm sitting here and I'm pretty darn tired already. So. Gonna rest a while and then we'll take some more pics on the way back.
All right, peaceful. Beautiful. Calming. Safe. Safe. Ah, what is this?